Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. This is May by Noriko in the color Maple Sugar R. May is a super cute basic cap shoulder-ish length, somewhat layered bob. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but May is just, she is just a wig all to herself. She's very, very flattering, kind of a bob cut, kind of layered, uh, some long fringe, and she is a basic cap. So I'm gonna talk all about May. I am gonna talk about this color, and I will show her inside and outside. Let me show you May all around. All right, May is, like I said, she's on a basic cap, so she's not, I wouldn't call her a flowy wig. I mean, she definitely, I think, looks natural, but she doesn't kind of swing and flow. I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, she has quite a bit of permatease. Number two, she's very layered, and so the layers just sort of sit. Uh, I don't know. I think she's cute. I've gotten lots of compliments on her, but for my wig sisters who need lots of cap features, if you get a little uncomfortable with basic cap wigs, May doesn't have any of those cap features. Um, she does have a fair amount of permatease, and you can somewhat see it up here on the part line. Very minimal, but this is something if you're going to buy a basic cap wig with permatease that you're going to have to learn how to deal with because sometimes you can see a little bit of that permatease. Lots of strategies will help with that. The number one strategy, in my opinion, is get a rooted wig. With this rooting, it really doesn't call attention to the permatease. I have found that if you get a wig that's not rooted, especially a lighter wig like this kind of color, you'll be able to see that permatease a lot more. And while I'm mentioning color, let me just talk about this Maple Sugar R. Look at that. I am going to show it outside. Oh, I got some sunlight coming in that window. I have not. I don't know that I've filmed at this time of day before. I think I'm going to have to pull that blind. Hang on for a second. All right. That sunlight was really going to throw things off. So let's take a look at this color again. So such a beautiful, beautiful highlighted but fairly well blended color let me grab the description I found about this color while you're looking at it so I found a description I'll switch sides so that you can really see I want to make sure I've got a good look here gold light golden amber brown base with soft butterscotch blonde highlights and medium brown roots the biggest takeaway I have on this color is kind of caramel golden amber I just see a very sort of warm golden caramely ambery uh, brunette I wouldn't consider this a blonde but it's a very light brunette it's very warm it is so beautiful I will show it to you a little bit more up close when I take it off my head and I will show it to you outside so let's just talk about my impressions of this wig. First of all, like many Noriko wigs I've tried, it is very snug on my head. Noriko is one brand that I struggle with. Um, some Noriko wigs are so tight they're uncomfortable. Some Noriko wigs I can wear, they're snug, but they're wearable. This is really borderline uncomfortable on me right now. And I have it um, all the way let out. Um, so I run uh, average circumference at 22 inches. If I cut the adjusters on this, it's going to give me a little bit more play. And I think that would help. But it's also tight kind of all over. I get no extra cap. It fits me like a glove. And I'm not used to that in wigs. So here's the deal. I'm going to take this off for a sec. I'm getting warm in here. And I'm going to show you the cap anyway. Here's the deal. Um, Wig comfort is very subjective. Because I have a very petite over the top of my head measurement, this part of my head measures 
about child size. And so I am used to having a lot of room in wigs. And so when I get a wig that fits me snugly, it's kind of uncomfortable for me. It's because I'm not used to it. You may be used to wigs fitting you snug, and so a snug fitting wig isn't uncomfortable to you. So that's kind of the learning curve that you'll have as a wig wearer. So um, this fits me very, very, very snugly. So please look at my measurements in the description to see how your measurements compare. So like I said, it's a basic cap wig. There you go, no bells and whistles. Lots of hair sewn in on the ear tab, which actually makes it so it has really good coverage. No extended nape and bra strap adjusters. Um, uh, you can cut the adjusters out of a wig that has these bra strap adjusters. It will release a slight bit of tension. So if a wig is borderline too tight for you, cutting one adjuster might be all you need to do to give you enough looseness. If that doesn't work, then cut the other adjuster. It will not damage the wig. It won't make it um, fall apart. It will just loosen that tension just a little bit. And I've done that before and it does help. So let's, let's show you this color um, while it's off my head. Look at that. You can see some of those kind of golden butterscotch highlights, just well placed all around this piece. Beautiful. And then it's on a medium brown root. I, Noriko does a really good job with their roots. I am super impressed with their rooting. I always, always am. It's not a long root. It's just a perfect root. Shadow root gives some dimension at the root. Um, it's just, they do just a fabulous, fabulous job with it. And it's so minimal. And they do the rooting. I'm kind of moving it around. They do the rooting all throughout. So if you wanted to try to do a styling with this one, it might be a little hard because it's kind of on the short side with those layers. Um, it will look natural. Just great job. My impressions are May is really cute. She's shake and go. I would say she's just a very no fuss, no muss wig. Um, you, you, you know, I have worn her where I have styled her just a little bit. I'm a big fan of claw, little claw clips to like get some lift in certain areas. You know, you can put a little claw clip in on the side and leave some of this down. You can clip her up more. You can put a headband in her. Um, there's some, there is some styling that you can do, but for the most part, she is just going to be a real casual kind of shake cut style. Um, professional for work, good for just running around. Uh, I just think a lot of people really, really will like May. If you are looking to cut a bang in May, you can totally do that. She does, on mine, really want to part right there, though. So you might need to take a little steam to wherever that part is on yours to make sure that it lays evenly. Real simple fix. But bangs a-okay with this one because she's a basic cap though you're not gonna like lift her off your head or anything like that so that's it i mean that's my impression may is cute casual if she wasn't so tight on me comfortable uh you know i have worn her two times and i felt totally comfortable in her i do not have any concern about any of that permatease it's so minimal and that root really hides it but if you're nervous about visible permatease what you do is you just mess it up up there. Get your fingers in there and kind of fluff it up around the part line. And then that way, the, let's see what I just did. I lifted the fibers up and now you wouldn't be able to see the permatease. She does have permatease all up here. So if you want to get a little bit of volume out of May, you can. I have had wigs with way more permatease than this. So she's not the heaviest permatease wig that I've ever had. She's pretty typical for Noriko. Ooh, wow. I kind of like what she just did. <laughs> I like that kind of rounded, messy look. I do think that if you want to give yourself a little shaggy mess look, you can totally do that with this one. All right, everybody, stick around. I'm going to get outside for you so you can see this one outside. I do not have an out of the box because what you saw was pretty much out of the box. I didn't have to do anything to her. So just let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, stick around for the outside look. And once again, thank you so much for being here. I'm so appreciative of the journey that we're all on together. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Hey, my friends. I just wanted to show you the most adorable wig. She is so cute. This is May by Noriko in the color Maple Sugar R. 
I am smitten. So she's just so adorable. Here's the thing. This is a basic cap wig and I tend to like my lace fronts and my mono parts and I often kind of write off the basic cap wigs because they're basic cap but I am finding more and more that there's such value in a basic cap wig and the price point just is so irresistible sometimes that it's really worth figuring out how to make basic cap wigs work. I am so in love with this one. And it's actually really, really easy to style. Let me just show you kind of all around. I'll do a full review on it, but I just, I'm just loving it today. So I thought I would get on here and show it to my wig sisters. And so this color Maple Sugar R, wow. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's like a caramely warm, light brown. It's beautiful and it has some really pretty highlights. She's just adorable. So May by Noriko, Maple Sugar R. Um, if you don't know, I do reviews on YouTube and so this one will get a review at some point, but you can just search my name, Denise Sheets, on YouTube and you'll find a whole lot of reviews. I do some tutorials and I love to answer questions. So if you have any, let me know and I put them on my list of videos to make. Let me know if you have questions about May. Super, super comfortable. I hope you're having a great week and today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and I'm super excited about that. I'll talk to you guys soon.